All right, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about our weekly forecast from December 15th until December 22nd. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this with your friends and family if you think they will find it useful or interesting. Let's get right into things. As always, we're going to be looking at our previous week's forecast compared to what actually happened. Take a mental note of this warmer temperatures in the West and central United States, South Central, that is, and then kind of the Southeast as well. Then colder temperatures up there for the Midwest and maybe a little bit of New England as well. Now, in three, two, one, here's what actually happened. As you can see, the warm temperatures, I like the placement that I had of that. I guess the only thing that you could say was really wrong with this is I had a little bit of colder temperatures in central New England, and that clearly didn't happen. So uh, that's actually kind of a big bust. But the Midwest definitely had some really, really cold temperatures. Overall, let me know what you thought of this in the comments down below. Now let's get into this week's forecast. We're going to be talking about our precipitation forecast first off. And first things first, we're talking about our below average precipitation regions. So we're going to have a lot of below average precipitation actually this week. As you can see, New England, the Northeast, Southeast, it's kind of just scattered areas of not below average. It's harder to find an area of below average than an area of above average at this point. So all of those tan areas are slightly below average precipitation. And as always in that first shade, it might not be too noticeable, but on paper you will for sure be below average. Now we're about to get into our areas that are even going to be more below average than these tan areas and where it will be very noticeable that it will be quite dry this week. As you can see, as we add our second layer of brown, for the mountains of California, we are actually expecting pretty far below average precipitation here, and it's going to be quite dry this week, and you will notice it in the second shade. That's typically how that goes. Now, let's get into your above average average precipitation regions. We're going to have multiple of these little regions in here. They're not going to be too big, but we will have a couple. Now, you can see one there, kind of for the four corner states, southern Utah, northern Arizona, northern New Mexico, and southern Colorado. We're going to have slightly above average precipitation. Again, not really going to be too noticeable, but it certainly won't be dry. We do have another region of above average precipitation there for the uh, Pacific Northwest as well, Washington and Oregon. That'll be slight once again, so not really too noticeable, but it will be there. Uh, and then we have a third area here for Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, areas like that. We're going to have pretty far above average precipitation as actually as we add a second layer to that as well where we'll actually be dealing with quite a bit of precipitation there for some of those areas in the mid-Atlantic, or I guess you'd call that kind of the southeast there in Tennessee and Kentucky, where we're going to be dealing with quite a bit of above average precipitation actually in that moderate shade. Again, going to be pretty noticeable. Now we're about to get into our very, very exciting temperature forecast where we're going to see who's going to be dealing with warmer than normal conditions and who's going to be dealing with colder than normal conditions. Let's get right into that. All right, starting out with our first area of above average temperatures here, you can see in the southeast, we're going to have a bit of a southeast ridge, and what that really indicates is it's going to be pretty warm for those areas, whereas north of you, it could be quite cold. We'll get more into that later into this temperature forecast, obviously, but first things first, definitely going to be dealing with slightly warmer than normal conditions for the southeastern regions of the United States. Again, in that first shade, might not be too noticeable for sure. Now, Let's add our second area of above average temperatures. You can see here for Washington, Idaho, and Montana, we're going to be dealing with slightly warmer than normal conditions up here as well. Once again, not really too noticeable, but for sure is going to be uh, on paper above average for this little region up there in the northwestern United States. Now, let's add our first area of below average temperatures here. You can see the northeastern United States through the Midwest and then out through some of the central United States there for Kansas and Missouri. These areas are going to be slightly below average as far as temperatures are concerned, and a few areas within this could be expecting to see snow throughout this week. So stay tuned for the special note segment as well, where we'll talk a little bit more about the snowstorms we could potentially be expecting this week. Now, let's add our second area of below average temperatures again slightly. We can see the four corner states up through some of the Rockies into Wyoming, Idaho, and a little bit of Montana, and then back out through Nevada and California as well. All of these regions were expecting slightly below average temperatures for the week ahead. Again, not really too noticeable, but on paper for sure will be below average. 
Now we're about to get into the areas where we're going to be dealing with moderately below average temperatures, and this is where it's going to be very noticeable that it's actually cold this week, so stay tuned for that. All right, so our first area of moderately below average temperatures is going to be up here for the northeastern United States, central New England, and some of the areas of western New York and upstate New York as well, going to be dealing with moderately below average temperatures. You can see northern Michigan and then up there in the Midwest as well. All of these regions will be dealing with below normal temperatures. Actually going to be quite noticeable. It's actually going to be a really cold week for you guys up there uh, in the week ahead. And again, some snow is expected, especially there for the northeast and New England. I think the Midwest are going to be dealing with some light snow throughout the week, possibly, but nothing too major for you guys. We actually have a second layer of moderately below average temperatures as well here. For the northern four corner states, up through Wyoming, Idaho, and Nevada as well, all of these regions, again, going to be a little bit more noticeable that it's a below average temperature week. Going to be quite chilly for you guys. And down there in uh, Colorado especially, but throughout this whole region, there is multiple chances for snow throughout the week, especially earlier on. We're dealing with some snow actually kind of as we're speaking. So definitely some snow chances for you guys as we have these colder temperatures in place. Now, we're about to get into your special note segment of the video, which is going to be very, very exciting to take a look. Again, we're going to talk a little bit more about some of those snowstorms we're potentially expecting to impact a lot of regions throughout the United States this week. Actually, I have one for the Northwest, one for the Southeast, Mid-Atlantic, and Northeast. That's going to be the, the third and last one, actually, which is going to be super exciting. And then I also have one for the Central United States through the Northeastern United States, and that's kind of the one we've been dealing with right now. So stay tuned for that as we're about to get into our special note segment of the video. All right, and for special note number one, you can see we're dealing with a major snowstorm from Colorado all the way through Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, into Michigan and Ohio, and then back through the northeastern United States. I've actually made three separate videos on this storm. I made one overall for the entire storm where I didn't really make a forecast. That was a little bit earlier on. I showed some model guidance on the storm and showed some of the potential outcomes that this storm could have. Uh, and then I also made a snowfall forecast video basically for the more western portion of that storm. And then I eventually made one, I think yesterday's video actually, for the northeastern United States and how much snow we could expect. And I might be updating the northeast's amounts uh, by the time we get to tomorrow. I don't really know as of right now. It's just going to depend on how accurate it still looks. Nevertheless, a few areas could be expecting to see three to six inches of snow for sure throughout Kansas and Missouri. Uh, and then also the northeastern United States, obviously Colorado and northern New Mexico. We're going to be dealing with, you know, 10 inches plus in a few of those high elevation areas. So that's definitely going to be the bullseye of the storm. But I'm picking up on the potential for New England to potentially even get 10 inches plus as well, as it's looking to be a little bit more intense than originally uh, thought. So I might definitely have to make a update on that storm for the northeastern United States. Now, for special note number two, it says stormy up there for the northwestern United States, but actually, uh, I definitely think it will be stormy, but I think that we're going to be dealing with a major storm from the 19th through the 22nd there this week for the northwestern United States, including the Pacific Northwest, and I really think that this could lead to a lot of snow for some high elevation areas and even some low elevation areas, but definitely the high elevation areas could be dealing with some heavier snowfall with this potent storm that potentially looks to head on shore and impact these regions this week. It's going to be super exciting to see what happens with this. Obviously, we would make a video on this if it is going to pan out, but that's for the 19th and the 22nd, so we're going to have to wait quite a while before we're talking about that. Now, for the most exciting special note of the video, we have our third special note, and this one is for the 21st and after, so basically right at the end of this week and then into early next week, we could be dealing with something big, uh, on the eastern United States and the signals I've seen with this one you can join our Facebook group by the way weather freaks we've been talking about this storm I actually posted some model guidance a couple days ago that will be in the links in the description if you ever want to join that group we do have cool 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 weather discussions and I did show some model guidance that indicated this storm being an extremely major snowstorm for New England a couple days ago actually I think it was the GFS that showed it 
And that looked to be kind of like a once every few years type snowstorm. So very, very major. And now the GFS is hinting or toying with the possibility for even areas in North Carolina and Virginia to get a big time snowstorm that goes right up the East Coast. Uh, not saying that it's likely at this point, but it's certainly the biggest possibility we've had so far this year of something like this. So very, very interesting to see it indicating it uh, this early on. And really the biggest thing it reminds me of so far is that snowstorm from 2010, December of 2010, uh, that impacted areas in the Southeast all the way up through, I live in Southeast Virginia gave us, you know, a foot of snow and then through New York city right before Christmas or maybe right around Christmas. Actually, that was a wonderful snowstorm, by the way. Uh, I love that one. And this one actually reminded me of that a lot so far, the signals that we've had. So we'll continue to track that. And obviously, if it is going to pan out, we'll, we'll have videos out on that to show you guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to share it with your friends and family as always. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.